Hello friends, hope you guys are doing good. Welcome to the software engineering channel. Today we are going to discuss about the bootstrap. Yeah, you heard it right. But this bootstrap is not uh, what you are thinking about. This bootstrap is Blazor bootstrap. You may have noticed uh, from last couple of days or from last few days, uh, I am very, I'm focusing very much on the topic of uh, Blazor. I am discussing uh, mostly things about the Blazor because I think Blazor is the future of .NET and I think uh, Blazor is something which can boost your productivity if you are working on Blazor, if you are creating any web project on Blazor, uh, you can be more productive as compared to MVC or as compared to Razor Pages because of its interactive nature. So uh, what I am going to discuss today, uh, as I told you, this is the uh, Blazor Bootstrap. What is new in Blazor Bootstrap? Nothing. If you know basic concepts of the Bootstrap, then you can use the Blazor Bootstrap as well. Blazor Bootstrap is an open source project and modified version of the actual Bootstrap. I don't think so. It is provided by uh, the actual company uh, which is uh, supporting or which is uh, providing the uh, actual Bootstrap officially. I, I don't think so. It is officially from the uh, Bootstrap company. That's what I'm, I want to say. Uh, but uh, this project, uh, this open source project is really uh, very useful for those who are uh, working as a full stack Blazor web developer to make your project look attractive and it simply uh, provides you the bootstrap components by converting them into the Blazor components and uh, uh, it really helps in making the Blazor component look more attractive. So uh, I think so it will it would be better if I, I will focus on the um, practical work. So let me create a new project and uh, I will create a new Blazor web app project and uh, in that project I am going to um, install or I am going to set the uh, Blazor Bootstrap and then after that I will uh, create few components using Blazor Bootstrap and show you how it gonna work. Okay, so Blazor Web App. Next, let me write the name Blazor App Bootstrap and then next. Uh, okay, from here. I'm going to choose .NET 8, not .NET 9, because for now the, this project is providing support only for .NET 8, uh, and but I think it's totally fine because .NET 8 is the long-term supported version. So if you want your project to uh, look more attractive and more beautiful, and you are working on enterprise level application, so I think you are going to choose .NET 8 as well. So uh, you can work on this Blazor Bootstrap using .NET 8 and I believe the uh, this project is getting a lot of uh, a lot of attention and soon they will provide the support for .NET 9 as well. Okay, so create the project. Okay, the, uh, the project is ready. Now I will go to Chrome and uh, open the blazor bootstrap official website blazor blazor bootstrap just write blazor bootstrap and here it is demos.blazorbootstrap.com this is the first link so open it and uh, um, here it is uh, if you look at this side this is a complete clone of the actual bootstrap side because they are not doing something uh, uh, new they are just uh, uh, redefining the blazer uh, sorry bootstrap component into the blazer components form uh, so it uh, becomes very easy for you to use the bootstrap creatively with the uh, blazer okay so uh, first go to the docs and it will completely guide you how you can install uh, the blazer bootstrap into the project so first of all here i will select the blazer web app server.net because this is what uh, uh, type of project i am using right now and install this first nugget package so it is very easy to install the nugget package i will configure the whole blazer bootstrap into the project in front of you uh, and then after that i will use few components so it, it, it's not going to take a lot of time just uh, keep following me uh, okay first of all copy this uh, link open your project go to the tools 
एंड देन नगेट पैकेज मैनेजर पैकेज मैनेजर कंसोल एंड पेस्ट इट हेयर योर इंटरनेट शुड बी कनेक्टेड एट दिस टाइम सो वैन यू विल पेस्ट द लिंक हेयर इट विल इंस्टॉल द नगेट पैकेज ऑटोमेटिकली बाय प्रेसिंग द इंटर लुक एट दिस इट इज इंस्टॉलिंग द नगेट पैकेज ओके द नगेट पैकेज हैज बिन इंस्टॉल्ड नाउ मिनिमाइज इट एंड फॉलो द नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शंस वॉट इट इज सेंग आफ्टर द बेस एच रेफ टैग इन दी हैड सेक्शन ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स एप डॉट रेजर जस्ट प्लेस दीज लिंक्स कॉपी दीज लिंक्स एंड अगैन गो टू योर प्रोजेक्ट ओपन सोल्यूशन एक्सप्लोर एंड दैन गो फॉर द कंपोनेंट्स एप डॉट रेजर ओके हेयर इज द बेस एच रेफ ओके प्रेस इंटर ट्वाइस to make some space so you can differentiate between what links uh, you are taking from the uh, blazor bootstrap and what are its own uh, link of the project uh, let me paste the uh, links here and uh, after that go back on the website add script references okay so uh, where we are going to uh, add the script references in the app.razor in the sam file after this underscore fam work uh, forward slash blazor dot web dot js so copy these links again and uh, find this line here it is just after that this line uh, place the links okay what is next now you have to add a service in program.cs very easy just copy the line open the program.cs file of your project and this is very handy process and you uh, you used to go through these kind of processes uh, even when you are developing any kind of app so it uh, wouldn't be difficult for you if you know how to uh, configure uh, your project with database or even if you know how to create a basic web application in the dot net world so this is just piece of cake even if it is if if you are feeling difficulty in following in in configuring this blazor bootstrap you have to just follow these uh, uh, steps and that's it nothing else um, components underscore import dot razor again now go in the component and import dot razor and copy this uh, file here now what is next open let me open the website now uh, it is asking me to remove the default references of the uh, original bootstrap uh, for that uh, it is asking me to delete the bootstrap folder from the www root directory uh, it is showing this path here delete www root css bootstrap folder so let me check uh, check if it is on the sam path i don't think so the path is sam okay in www root we have directly the bootstrap folder just select the folder and delete it okay now uh, definitely it will ask me to delete the references of this folder here it is uh, it is asking me to find out this line bootstrap bootstrap dot min dot css in app dot razor and uh, remove the line okay let me go for okay here it is here it is remove this line okay the line has been removed now what is next open it again here it is now it is saying uh your app should look like this app i don't i don't think so my app uh, would look like this because still i have few uh, default uh, css files in the project but that doesn't matter if my app looks uh, like this or not uh, what matters for me the components uh, should work properly uh, after installing and configuring the all of these things but first of all let me run my app and check uh, and let me check if things are working fine or not so uh, first of all i will close all these tabs by saving the changings and then i will run the app app is going to run for the first time so definitely it uh, will take a little bit time wait for it 
okay so uh, app is running and it is running totally fine and uh, it is showing me its default view as i told you the uh, app will show its uh, default view because we haven't deleted or uh, the blazer bootstrap didn't ask us to uh, delete the default apps.css files so i think these styles are coming from that file uh, but that's totally fine uh, we we don't have to do anything with this style what we want to check if uh, uh, the blazor bootstrap components are working or not after configuring configuring the uh, bootstrap so let's start so now look at this first of all i will open the page uh, home page definitely this is the first phase so i will try to uh, run everything on this phase so i can see just after running the page without navigating to any other page okay so uh, configuration has been done now let me close this tab and i will come back to the original site demos.blazerbootstrap.com okay so here are all the component open any one component like uh, let me open the component card first here it is look this site is uh, similar to the actual bootstrap site and the only difference you will notice here is uh, at the code look at this code uh, usually in the bootstrap we create a div and we implement the bootstrap uh, uh, classes here to create the card but they are using the component because this is the blazer and we are using the custom uh, blazer bootstrap so uh, let me copy it and if our uh, our blazer bootstrap is configured uh, properly then it uh, it should work okay so let me copy it and uh, paste it here this is very simple thing uh, and it is detecting the components properly so i think it's gonna work for us uh, it will not do any uh, anything uh, really creative but it will show me a simple card and you can see here it is uh, but uh, uh, this uh, confirms us that the blazer bootstrap has been configured properly that is why this card is uh, running uh, by using the card component not the basic bootstrap classes uh, okay so let me stop the project now let's go towards some other uh, code which is really helpful when you are uh, these things you can do these things on the simple bootstrap as well doesn't matter if you are working on mvc if you are working on razor uh, project template or on um, blazer this is a very this is very simple kind of thing so you can achieve even with div doesn't matter if you are using the div or you are using the card component uh, that doesn't matter here but uh, where it helps you where this blazer bootstrap helps you actually is when you create the uh, interactive kind of component let me find some interactive components like uh, toast and etc here it is toast let me open this and look at this it is providing you toast sam like uh, the actual bootstrap provides but after that in example code it is providing you the on click event as well because this is uh optimize for the blazer okay and then after that look at this it is providing you the actual c sharp code as well here so let me uh, copy this toast and implement it and let's see if it works for us or not delete this card uh, and i just paste the toast here and after that i will uh, choose any button i have a lot of buttons here so i will choose the first one because uh, this is the primary button and after that in the code section uh, I will paste the code even I am going to copy the whole code section and I'll paste it here so now if I will run it and press on the button uh, this one button primary tools it will not work because the page is not interactive so first of all make the render mode interactive server and now run the project okay so the project is uh, running now and uh, if i press on this button let's see what happens look at this look at this beautiful toast 
This is coming from uh, the Blazor Bootstrap and uh, and I think it would have some uh, default time and uh, after that it will disappear automatically. Let me check if it disappears or uh, I have to close it by myself. Mm, I don't think so it disappears. I have to close it by myself like this anyways but still it is a good thing uh, and uh, um, I believe you can uh, uh, modify it as well to uh, disappear after some time here it is auto hide and delay 6000 so if you will use this one definitely it will uh, it will auto automatically hide after six seconds and this one is good so uh, look at this what makes the difference between the blazer bootstrap and actual bootstrap is uh, this is the optimized version and you uh, have the example code as well in c sharp so uh, you can copy it as well and use it according to you according to your requirements so this is very uh, very awesome project i really appreciate this project and uh, i think uh, we uh, developers dotnet developers who are working on a blazer website should consider this optimized version of uh, bootstrap uh, to use with the blazer so i hope you like this video uh, if you like my videos please subscribe to the channel see you in the next video till that time allah hafiz